Hello! This video will detail some tips when it comes to registering. By the end, you'll know how to join a waitlist to a course, and you'll know how to search for a course with a later start date in the semester. HACC has fall, winter, spring, and summer courses. Typically, fall classes begin in August and late start classes begin in September. There are also limited courses that start in October and November. Winter is a four-week term, and the only option is for classes to start in December. Spring courses begin in January, with late start classes beginning in February, plus a limited number of courses that start in March and April. And lastly, for the summer semester, most classes start in May, but there are some June and July start dates too. So let's search for these courses with later start dates. First, I'll transition to MyHack. Sign into your MyHack account at my.hack.edu. At the top of the screen, you'll see Registration and Records, and under Registration and Veterans Information, click on Browse for Classes and Register Add Drop. In the top right, Register Add Drop Classes. You'll put in the term and an advising code if required. If you are required to input an advising code and you do not have your code, please contact an advisor. After clicking Continue, you will be brought to a screen where you can register for classes and enter search criteria. For this video, we will focus on finding courses that have different start dates. At the bottom of the search criteria, there's an option and an area that asks for part of term. If you're not sure what to put, click on the box and options will populate. Select as many or as few as you would like, and then click Search. The search results will appear, and if you hover over the meeting times for the course, the start and end dates will appear in a pop-up box. It's also important to note that a more condensed course covers the same information as a full semester course, just in a shorter period of time. So let's look for a Psychology 101 course as an example. Okay, on the screen, we'll see some Psychology 101 course options. Now you may see a course that's listed as full, for instance, this one, or this one. This one, there are some options to be added into a wait list. So you can see there are 13 of 15 wait list seats remaining. Be aware, sometimes courses will look as though there's still one seat left, but the wait list to the course has started. So for instance, this one right here, it looks like there's one seat, but the wait list, there's eight of 15 wait list seats remaining. If you would like to be added to the wait list, a student can click add, and at the bottom where it set, says add or drop, you can indicate you'd like to be added to the wait list and then hit Submit. You're successfully added to the wait list. And now students will be notified via Hawkmail if a seat opens up and they're next in line. Once notified, typically students have 24 hours to register for the course before the next student on the wait list is notified and given the chance to register. So make sure you keep an eye on your Hawkmail if you're on a wait list. A wait list for a course ends two days before the course starts, so make sure you keep a backup plan in mind as well. Hope these tips do help with registration. If you do have any questions, please contact an advisor or the Welcome Center, and more information is also available at hack.edu advising. Thank you.